Okay. So, the frames are kind of bad, but I think that is only because I had s I have so much going on right now on my screen because I don't know what I need up and what I don't need up. So I got a lot going on. It, it looks like it's slowing going down. I may just have to cut Spotify out entirely from now on. But anywho, hello. Welcome to the replay of Cassandra. And I'm actually pretty excited. She looks a little bit different. Not, not too much different, but a little bit different. So, let's get started already. So just for kicks, this is, you know, all her facial stuff shebang shebang in case anybody wants to know pretty excited to actually play her replay her for real it's gonna be hard but I think I can do it I have to try to keep her in my mindset but that's it that is what we got profile reconstruction Cassandra Shepard she's a colonist she's ruthless and she is a soldier she looks pretty good to me. Yes. Yes, yes, Identification yes. Identification confirmed. We're not going to do insane. Let's see here, though. Bosses scaled up based on player's level. Some enemies have special protection. Bosses and sub-bosses scaled up based on player level. Most enemies have special protection. Must be unlocked. Most enemies scaled up based... All enemies have protection. Bosses have immunities. Hmm... Let me just try normal for now. If it's too easy for me, I will change it. Target this defense only. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We kind of want to quickly get to Mass Effect 3. So, I want to try to get through the Citadel today. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. That's a lot to read in such a short time. But you, you get the gist. You get the gifs. We are just going to continue her. I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited. Why is this offline? Very, very excited. Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Damn it, this thing isn't working. Hey Larry, what's up? Why is this not we working? We are connecting. Calculating transit mass and destination. Let's see here. Maybe I actually have to hold up. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. What is up, Larry? All stations secure for transit. Hopefully this doesn't fuck anything up. What you, what you doing here, Larry? You're supposed to be getting some sleep, aren't you? Aren't you? You're, you're supposed to be getting some sleepy sleep. Ah, oh, jeez, shut up. Okay, I want to try to make this work so these commands freaking work. I don't know why it's not working. You try to look up answers online, it doesn't work. There we go, that's the right password. Thrusters, check. Navigation, oh, check. Internal emissions uh, sync engaged. All systems online. Yes, I'm up and too Rift. late again. Don't moan at Just me. I ain't moaning at you. I'm trying to figure out why the Which hell this freaking thing isn't Our working. Will be pleased. Oh wait, is it working now? I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the now? galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Okay. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The no, Council okay. helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Yeah, stream is fine. I just want to... I'm trying. I'm trying to use um, this thing called Streamlabs Chatbot, and uh, it it what it's some program, one of many bots that allows you to have like commands that various people can do, and it has like a chat thing. But I'm so confused between like is it connected to the bot uh thing? Is it not? Let me let me try something. Uh, let's try this. Whoops! No, I don't want that. There. Okay, no. Uh, this is so confusing. Oh, okay, wave my head. It's it's very confusing. Alright, well. I guess... Let me just test something. Now that I'm live and I can actually test it, I just want to test it. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't think it's going to work though. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Just, just give me a... Here, uh, cut the chatter. That's enough. <laughs> Your soldiers act like it. Uh, Sorry, Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. I want command. Okay, just Good. let me know if I should be seeing Find anything different. I'll let you know. Okay. No problem. I mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass. Hopefully, I'll have this figured out soon enough. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Great job, Joker. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. What the hell? You get that, Commander? Uh. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Don't you hate when it tells you to do a freaking caption thing? Oh, God, come on. Uh, that's one. That's one. That's one. It may just say forget it. Try it next time. So I want to get through the Citadel, so it's going to be a pretty long stream. I have to do a stupid robot test. I hate it. Are you serious right now? That wasn't right? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, love base. Dumb. I'm not a freaking robot, I swear. Oh, God. Why, why you make me do all that? I just want to see if this works. Please. Well, what's wrong with my frames? They're going up again. I don't understand this bullcrap. I think I have too much up. That might be my problem. Yes. I don't think this is going to work. Let's see here. If it doesn't, I'm just going to turn it off and continue. I think I know the problem. That sucks. I wanted to use like a whole custom bot name and shit, and I can't do that. Because as far as I know, you don't see whatever I'm typing. Like whatever I type in chat. And you're supposed to be able to. You're supposed to be able to. 
That's okay, Ethan. So mess around with it if you want to figure it out. I'm all good. Okay, thanks, Larry. You're the bomb, man. You're the bomb. I'm just gonna do this now. And see if you see it. Uh, it's probably gonna make me take another test. I don't wanna take another test. I ain't seeing anything different at the moment. Okay. The roads. That means I probably have to do it this way. That's a road. I hate these picture tests. They're so annoying. They're so small you can barely see what's in the picture. Oh god. Oh, that's a road. That's a road. None of these are roads. Okay, got it. Stop giving me roads. You're making my frames go up, man. Is that a road? Yeah. Okay, that is not one. Am I done? Please tell me I'm done. Okay. Apparently, I don't know what a road is or not. Ah, oh, jeez. Is there any cars there? I can't freaking tell. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, I feel the same way about spelling tests? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, jeez. My frames are going up. Why? Uh-oh. Oh, they're going up. Hopefully it won't be too much of a bother. Authorize. Yes. Connect. Yes. Okay, cool. Now will this work? As a... There we go. It works now. Okay, well, I just can't use a, a special bot. That's all. Okay, that's fine. Well, now we can use commands. Here we go. Command list. <laughs> if anybody wants to use commands. Ah ha ha ha. Now I can prop. Okay, now we can fucking actually play the game. And hope the frames go down eventually. I technically don't even need this up then, but I'll just keep it up. Hey, lots of messages showing? Yeah, that's right. Now we can use lots of commands at least. You could try it yourself, Larry. Pick one of those and do exclamation point by uh whatever it says. I like have been trying to do this for like three hours. So. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. Whatever you say, Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Oh, is that going to go off every 15 seconds? I might have to change that. Maybe another time? Okay. No prop. I'm going to have to see if that goes off every 15 seconds. If it does, I am changing it. He wants to see I'm me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. Cassandra looks a little bit different. Respect, ma Maybe he'll finally if you tell can tell. You, really doing out here. you think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? Just slightly All different, we're supposed really. To do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. That's kind of weird. Oh, I'll have to figure that out. Um. Uh. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Plus, he's a specter. I mean, come on. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. 
Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Um. There we go. Info's on a need to know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Eh, yeah, that's fine. I don't think I can reload anyways. Nope. Hey Z, did you make me a mod? I have a little swerp on my name. I did make you a mod, I did. I did it because you're like my first supporter. And it makes me happy. <laughs> so, yeah, I made you a mod. It's not that complicated, trust me, Larry. You could probably see that there's like two little thingies next to usernames now. It, it's very simple. You hover over them and it tells you what they do, so... We don't have any problems with people, so there's really no need to worry about it. Not yet, anyway. But I armed you up, Larry. I armed you up. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Eh! What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Okay, well thanks anyway, Spectre I won't lose my directly for the head and ban everyone. Okay, no problem, Larry. <laughs> Even if you accidentally do, I can unban them. <laughs> Basically, they're a shadow it happens sometimes, you click the wrong button. Protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. Isn't this some kind We've of freaky deja vu we're having right now? now. So far, freaky deja vu. Happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. I could do that. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. So did your chef get a face moper? I forget what she looked like without all the scars. She just looks slightly different. I picked different eyebrows and eyes, basically, and I tweaked her face, but really it's just the eyes and the eyebrows that are different. <laughs> That's all. Um. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. Yeah, I didn't gorgeous. do too much. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too. I can't wait to get our scars me. back, though. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. It's just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Thanks. I've just realized now that, uh... Shepard in Mass Effect 
one renegade is a lot more of an asshole than freaking Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2, they're more like sarcastic. Commander Shepard. Oh god, it's an alien. First. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. God, I want to talk to an alien. I'm interested in this world we're going uh -uh. through. Eden Prime. So here we go again. I've Never got bored beautiful. watching this game. Yeah, same here, man. Never get bored playing it. So what, you stupid alien? I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. She wouldn't Proof know. That humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it? Really? Is that a freaking threat, alien? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The I'll galaxy can be a very me? dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Uh, yeah. I think it's about time we told the commander what's real. Finally, a human. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. No freaking duh. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Okay. What else can you tell me? This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. Why? But this discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, why do we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Yeah, no Some kidding. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Ew, do not get close to me. Action, Ew. He's here to evaluate. Disgusting alien. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for Disgusting. a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as You a put my for name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Uh -huh. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. Too bad Cassandra can't Spectres. say the same. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. You're trying to max out that renegade that before you even getting off the ship. I Damn right I am, Larry. Damn control. right. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be Can the I first please put my helmet on? <laughs> You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, beacon. Why is this beacon so important? They just told well, us, Cassandra, you idiot. Is based on God, Cassandra's a little loopy, isn't she? If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. She looks so good if now. Terminus systems attack. It's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. 
The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, uh, we got well. a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, She's distracted by having an alien so close. Yeah, probably. You're probably right, Larry. Three. See, watch how she goes stands next to the human. That's right. Get down! It's the cameraman. That was awful. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Twitch. I love that part. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Dude, she pissed. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Your ship is pretty. I always mess up the profile. Aww. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. Well, see, I spent in. like 30 minutes on it <laughs> right before streaming, so... How long do you usually take for your ship? Engaging stealth systems. I didn't think I was going to like her eyebrows at first, to be honest. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, It's Commander. like, I'm good at making Go women, but not so much males. What about survivors, Still Captain? looks like a Helping big hand come out of the sky. Yeah, it really does. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching a drop point gross-handed cockroach. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. So is Cassandra, but she's stuck with the team. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports. Ah, oh, yeah, mission. she's wearing Otherwise, a helmet. Radio Can we trust him? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Damn right. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. I don't know if I said it before, Larry, but this might be kind of a long stream because I kind of want to get through the whole Citadel part. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to now since I took 30 minutes trying to figure out problems, but you know. How long do I take to make a main new character? Not long enough, obviously. Aw. It's okay. Maybe, like, look up pictures of people and see if that helps. Like I said, I'm good at- I feel like I'm good at making feel females, but not males. That goes off for way too long. I might have to uh, change that speed. <laughs> eh. 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 Oh, I missed. Eh. Oops, I missed. Eh, there we go. Kane's like, what the fuck you do it, Commander? Be like, they're disgusting little creatures. I want them dead. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned it. I'll be here as long as I can. Okay, no prob. Once you feel like you're ready to pass out, just go ahead. Go ahead and get some sleepies. Yeah, you know, for the heck of it. Let's, uh, let's do everybody's thing. Uh, intimidate? Yes. Jenkins! Oh, Jenkins! You're such a pal! Here you go, have a salt rifle, pal. I know I'm gonna have you for a very long time. Uh, you can have decryption and, yeah, um, let's do first aid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. Look at her using her pistol. I got no friggin' machine gun in this game, that's for damn sure. 
I was about to say, is it glitched or something? Why didn't the cutscene go off? Alright, Jenkins, you got it. Go ahead, buddy. I don't know, he died pretty quick for my taste, just saying. I might have to up the difficulty a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Clear. Oh no, Jenkins, what happened, man? What freaking happened? Hey Z, did you type stuff again? Got another message from your show up, is that right? Yeah, it's um, here, let me see if I can actually make it slower. What that thing is doing, it's like, uh, I don't know if you watch other people and like sometimes they have messages that pop up after a certain amount of time, that's what it is. I'm gonna have it go for longer. Let's do 30 minutes instead of 15 because it's kind of annoying. We'll do that instead. Alright, should be better now. We'll go for that much. Did I save? I think I did. Ripped right through his shields. Never had a chance. Forget about him. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, ma'am. Damn right. Look at that. Look at all that renegade. Ooh, it's so sweet. Yeah, eventually, when I have more time, I'll put more than just that follow thing, so it's like a diverse thing. But, uh, yeah. Well, we're just, you know, I'll make it go for... Ew! Disgusting! Disgusting creature. There we go. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, man, whatever you say. I really could care less about you, Nihilus. I also, don't you love the aiming of this game? You could, like, be totally over here and still kill the thing. It's great. Arius it really is. Let's go get this med kit for the hecky of it. Yeah. Okay. In a game plus of this, I gave Jenkins the best arm and guns you could get. Still didn't save him, but I tried. Oh, I should try doing that. So I can be sad too. Ew, disgusting. Okay. I mean, come on. He died pretty damn quick. He could have ran. Whatever. Oh my god! Shulam! Thank you so much for the host! How you doing? How did you enjoy Mass Effect 2 in the start of 3? I heard that you had a very uh, interesting experience with the uh, suicide mission in the start of 3. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Thank you so much for the host. Oh god. It's okay, we're on normal. I can kill them. There we go. Yeah, any help oh, the game gives me with aiming I approve of. Right? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. Yeah, suicide mission was great. The one who yeah, how'd you like that uh creepy ass skeleton? He was fun, right? He's he's super fun on insane. You should try it. <laughs> or well as good as a suicide mission can be. Oh, well, I don't want to be spoiled because I want to watch it, but did anybody die? Did you have anybody die? Oh god, he was terrifying. Yeah, to this day, he still terrifies me. When he first pops up, it makes my heart jump. I need a status report now. No death? That's good! We That's good! Perimeter when the attack hits. That's good, Chu. I'm proud of you. Creepy ass human reaper. Yeah, really, Ford. Creepy ass human sense. reaper. Very creepy. Hey, Ford, what's up? 
fighting these things are Gith. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Well, no prop, Shu. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. How far did you get in uh, Mass Effect 3 so far? Uh... You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Uh... Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Okay, Ashley. Folks in chat did yell at me a bit for one of the choices where I wasn't thinking it through well, but otherwise it would have I would have had no deaths on my own for sure. I see, I see. Basically just star three haven't had much time to stream this week. I get ya. Been to Citadel and did Eden Prime. Oh, that's cool. Cool, cool. With uh with uh you know were you sad when uh who who did you save? Did you save Caden or Ashley? Were you sad when they got uh head banged? <laughs> so how come the redo on Cassandra? The redo because uh here I'll show you. Let's see here. Eh! I got a little bit of commands now, surely. My mind went crazy, and I have to play her the right way. <laughs> because the way I played her the first time, I didn't feel like she was uh, anti-alien enough. And I didn't want to go into the final game with that Cassandra, so... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to continue with that Cassandra. I at least finished Mass Effect 2 for the achievement, but that wasn't Cassandra. So if you want, Shuli, I'm going to be making like so many different choices. First one being, I'm going to try not to recruit Garrus. <laughs> We're going to see how that ends up in Mass Effect 2. She, she really does. She really needs to be more xenophobic. She really does. There's no reason why... I should have so many aliens in Mass Effect 3 surviving. There's no reason why. <laughs> Let me, uh, do all this. That's right. That's right. Shoot no Garrus. I'm gonna try to. The only reason... The only problem will be if I don't... If I don't get Garrus, I can't help out Dr. Michelle. And it's kind... It's kind of helps a little bit to help her out for Mass Effect 3. But oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna try just going for Rex and see if I cannot have Tally or not. I don't know if I cannot have her. We'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe I should do combat armor. Would be nice. And I'm kind of using pistols mainly. Do pistols. You, combat armor as well. You can have your assault rifle. And. Um, that you can have that and barrier so basically no garris and killing rex i'm thinking i don't know about rex we'll find out <laughs> sounds like we'll see you guys we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i want to try to get through at least past the citadel um that i don't know if i'll be able to do that because it's going to take a while but we'll see here Caden, have some good armor there you go, pal. Do I have any mods? I do have some mods. Ooh. You don't need any mods, freaking Caden. You don't use assault rifle. Neither do I, really, but whatever. Combat sensor? Sure. Synthetics? I'll take it. Alright, let's go. Even though I'm playing on normal, I don't know why I'm thinking I'm playing on insane. AC, you going to leave Liara hanging around as long as possible too? I was actually thinking about that, Larry. I was actually thinking about that. Right before I streamed, I was like, you know what? I don't have to go after Liara. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. Honestly, I kind of want to go to uh, Pharaoh's first. 
But the only problem with that is I know I'm not going to have enough Renegade for the uh, interrupts, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Negative contact. What the hell you want to talk about, Ashley? Ashley. It used to be beautiful here. No shit. But it's not what you want to talk about, Ashley. I know it's not. This is the dig site. The they are such right an adorable nerd. Yeah. By who? When you go Our get her late in game, guess. it's hilarious. Yeah, Hard it really say. is. It Maybe really is. I saw a video a of it. Camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, and just for fun, because I feel like this is just a little bit too easy. Now that I'm playing on Insane so much, I feel like it's just a little bit too easy. Let's do... Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Let's do Veteran, see what the hell happens. I know I want to, like, quickly get through this for Mass Effect 3, but eh, it's a little bit too easy. <laughs> what makes it hilarious? You'll see! Seeing that once really are, it's actually funny. It really is. I ain't gonna spoil it for you, Shu. Nobody spoil it for Shu. <laughs> it's super funny. Uh, combat armor. Let's get that pistol up. Look at all that renegade I have already. This is great. I love it. I love where this is going already. Uh, we need that, Caden, please. Thank you. I need stuff. I need free stuff, Caden. Need free stuff. Fair enough. That's right, Shu. <laughs> That's right. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Now let's see how much tougher a uh, veteran is. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive. Oh yeah. What did the Geth do to them? Well, I don't know. They turned them in the husk. Look, it says it right there. All right, this guy's annoying because he doesn't die. I don't know why the freaking creators of this game, Bioware, did that. They decided that husk didn't deserve to die right away or something. It's dumb. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Area secured. Huh. All right, Kaden, you want to talk? What's up? Why aren't you guys talking about the spikes anymore? Whatever. Cassandra don't care. Cassandra don't care. Oh, please don't get stuck. <laughs> My Samuel L. Shepard is a paragate, but lean towards the red. Just don't fuck with him or his crew or you'll be fine. Otherwise, you're just as white. Ooh, I like him. I like him. Sounds like Cassandra would like him, besides, you know, him being nice to the aliens. She wouldn't like that too much. Closed. Security locks engaged. Yeah, I know. If you're quick enough, maybe you can shoot Nihilus yourself, AC? Oh, I'll try. You know, I should I should probably try that. I'll get my sniper out. How about that? I'll get the sniper out. If he pops up. Humans. Thank the maker. Ah, Dragon Age reference. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Gosh darn it. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Uh. Neither are you going to help me. Williams, and I'm not going to punch him. Port. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. He's nice the to him, boy. He's not into genocide, but he'll call a big stupid jellyfish a big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> That's nice to know. Alright, this is the part where he gets shot, right? Hold on. Hold on. Let me try. Let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I can't... I, I can't see Nihilus. I think he's like... He's like over here somewhere. Let's just say that hit him. How about that? <laughs> C 
Ka blew me there. See, I shot him. He told. Say, look, he's right there where the rocks are. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The At least I tried, had. yeah. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Saren caught my bullet. He did it for me, you guys. He caught my bullet. That was definitely my bullet. We can all agree on that, right? What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. What are you telling us talking about? It's like super small right here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. I hate the snipers in this game. Snipers really suck. Why did they have to have this wobbly do things? I don't like it. Oh. Damn it, that didn't even hit him! It was like right there! Please, please, please. I just want it. Did that hit? Yeah, it did. Please, stop hitting me. My voice. Oh, Alright, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I hate snipers in this game. Snipers are really stupid. Really, really, really stupid. Oh, hi. Yay! Shot ya! Uh, do that. Oh, okay. They're dead. Damn, ME1 snipers. I know! God, I hate the sniper thing. It's so stupid. Why did Bioware think that was a good idea? Does any game, seriously, does any game, oops, sorry, does any game do that? I mean, really now. I can see like a little bit of uh, shaking, but not that much. That's just ridiculous. I hate it. And it's like, even if you play Infiltrator, you can't be good with a sniper until like you're halfway done with the game. And it's super annoying. Because <laughs> you gotta get all those mods and it's just, ugh. I hate it. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Yeah. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. I never when use them until I jack my sniper skill way up. Over. Infiltrator feels penalized right at the, the attack. beginning of this game. Yeah, they really do. The, second I saw it. So we made a break for the, the one good thing about snipers in this game is it makes all the others that follow seem so much better. <laughs> yeah, very true. Um. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful Cole, noise. that's the name of my kitty! Some kind of signal as it descended. Aw, you look Sounded nothing like, like Cole. Let me tell there. you that right now. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Um. Okay, bye. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them Oh, stuff. give me the stuff, Jeez, man. Blake, you got to learn when to shut up. I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. That's why you ran here. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just... I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it. You're than holding out on me, Busta. 
I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... Don, uh, wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. Uh-huh. Might as well take that too. Yeah, thanks, dude. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? The, what? He's not a bad guy. Ashley? Get him in trouble. What the hell so are you doing? Snitch. That's never happened before. Why are you the hell are you over there? Is he worth dying for? Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know. Why really? is she there? So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in. Yeah, sure. Okay? Bye. I have to go. Good luck. Look at that renegade. Oh, look at it. We're almost halfway to the first bar. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is going so much better. Please? Thank you. Alright. Let's go uh, get these grenades that I never use in my entire life. Ooh, am I gonna get stuck? No, I did not. And uh, we'll equip ourselves and whatnot. Commander, it's not Who gives a fuck? Because Cassandra sure don't. Cassandra sure don't. There we go. Alright. Let's uh, equip ourselves up here. Wow, no messing about this time. No way, man. I'm getting that renegade. Oop. That's a better one. Uh, that's fine. 20. Minus damage. Shield bypass. Weapon force. Cool down. Nah, we'll do that. Uh, shotgun. That's better. That. Assault rifle, that, and that. And hey, we got a better sniper. I want to do that. Look at there. Alright, uh, Kaden, you need a better pistol, man? You do. There you go, man. Uh, Ashley, you want a better gun? I get a pistol. Who want a shotgun? And an assault rifle. Look at that. I'm so nice. I'm so generous. I love you. Um. Can't wear anything, huh? Look at that heavy freaking armor that I already got. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Give that to Cassandra. She's way more important. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. All right, let's go check out the stupid Turian. A Turian? You know him? Sadly. <laughs> He's a specter. He was with us on the norm. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding. From those creatures. My name's Pal. What's up, Pal? I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Uh huh. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? I don't care, okay? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Okay. He and wasn't my friend. Was Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... 
I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Now, nah, what's wrong with that? You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? Yes. I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Yeah, yeah, you big baby. Your Cassandra went through worse. The docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean... What does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? No, Anything it doesn't. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? Cassandra, Lakey, Ashley. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that Been guilty of having a nap at work like that too, Take but no alien text to wake me up thankfully. Went. Not yet. <laughs> I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Well, I did not get any of this dialogue at all. I know, isn't it great? You should totally try a renegade shoe. I think you'd enjoy it. Um, okay, cool. You gotta love this classic music, though. Please? There we go. Take it. Well, oh, he's running. Damn it. Shit. Oh, he's running. He's a running. He be running. Run. Oh, look at that. He's almost dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. I leveled, yay. So this is really veteran, huh? We got him, well, I think veteran only uh, deals with bosses, so... Yeah, these guys wouldn't be that tough. Like, I think I missed the whole smuggling stuff somehow. Oh, interesting. That might have been before I understood how the dialogue choices worked. Shoe picking up helpful info here. <laughs> That's right. Alright, let's see here. Combat. Uh, we'll do that. Let's start on the shotgun. There we go. We got more equipment, did we? Yeah, not that important. Yeah, easy to miss all of all this the first time. Putting enough points into intimidate or charm don't Except seem so charges. important at the start. The yeah. Entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. If you don't, uh, I'll show you in a second. 
But if you don't get all all three points of either charm or intimidate that you first see, you won't be able to do the whole smuggling thing. Hold on. Can I Yeah, let me show you shoe. See right here you get this like at the very beginning if you can't fill up these three spots with like your first three points that you get Like at the very start of the game when you can finally move then you won't be able to do the uh, Whole smuggling quest line. I tried it before it was like two here and one here. You can't do it It's gotta be three of one Yeah, I didn't do that. Targets. Yeah, the guest must have planted them Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! I think when I first played this game, whenever I saw an oppor opportunity to raise my uh, Paragon points up, I did it. Like, if it helped putting skill points there, I'm like, oh, I'll do that right away. Because I want all the dialogue. Explains why I missed that completely, yeah. Hey Larry, you should try playing on Veteran at least. It's pretty easy. It's only a problem when you get to bosses. Like, I feel like I'm playing casual right now. The only difference is the health isn't regenerating. Why are you still using a sniper? I don't know why I'm still using a pistol, to be honest. Making good time, AC. Didn't think you'd have a chance of all the silo tonight. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. I am making pretty good time. Area secure. There is a lot of talking to do at the Citadel, though. Yeah, that's the first thing I do at the start with Samuel. I. Oh God. Yeah, that's the first thing I did is start with Samuel. I've... I full imitate already and will keep that one filled until the end. True, true, true. Yeah, I put points into Paragon pretty soon after the first mission, but I think I put my first two points into guns or something. Yeah, that's still a good choice. Well, was that try playing on easy? Yeah, I can give that a go. No, play on veteran. You see me playing this, Larry. Veteran is pretty much cast... It looks like it's going to be pretty much cast casual I guess until you get to a boss and I haven't experienced any bosses yet and I won't this whole stream so the stream today anyway tonight that's what it says it's freaking easy I thought this would be a little bit more difficult bosses and sub bosses yeah not that not that hard you can do it Larry you should try it I'm not making fun of you! I- I think you can do it! I really think you can do it. If my dumb butt can do it, you certainly can. My god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. I play on veteran or hardcore most of the time. Normally casual just feel unchallenging anymore. Insanity, I've, nip 
I've done all my games on that to get achievements, so no more. Yeah, I, I see you. I see you. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Now that I actually played Soldier on Insane on this game, I'm like... Casual and normal got really easy, so... I'll probably stick to Veteran from now on as well. I don't know about Mass Effect 2. That might be casual, but we'll see. Um... Let me do all this equipment before we uh, do this whole thing. Uh... Okay. She could wear that? No, she doesn't need it. That's fine. Pistol. It was 108. I don't know if Caden has something better. He does not. Okay, good. All set. With as many times as you play this game, I could definitely understand that. I played this game a shit ton too, but I've only ever played on casual, so. Going insane was like a big shock to me, and now it's too easy on casual. <laughs> Normandy. Okay, the we'll give it a go later today. Be prepared for the horror stories. Alright. I hope I hear- I hope- I hope it you do, Larry. Anything like that when they dug Tell me out. all about it. Just do veteran. Just do veteran. It's not Roger that Norman, bad. You'll see. Stupid Caden. Shepard! No! Don't touch her! It's too dangerous! That vision still kind of makes no sense to me, to be honest. Yeah, once you went on Sandy, casual we can be done in your sleep. It really can. Kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like, damn it, I can't be casual anymore. Oh, you guys ready for the boob shot? Boobs! We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Get out of that abusive relationship, Matriarch Benezia. This human must be eliminated. Get some nice uh, boob lighting right there. That's nice, nice touch. Love it. What is Bioware's obsession with boobs and butts? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't. I love that she causes Doctor, us to say eyes up Doctor here. Thomas, yeah, I bet that's why they I did it too. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Damn. Something I wish I could there, sleep for that long. Think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard. I'm oh, sorry, Caden. I'm oh, sorry. He gave me the puppy eyes. I'm oh, sorry. We'll never get the chance to find out. 
The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked Fun fact, my mate's sister Williams went to school with what's her face with who voices boob lady? Oh really? That's really cool. Oh, that's nice. Deanna Tori Troy, high as fuck, thinking she's in a sorry matriarch and shit. The puppy eyes, yeah, the puppy eyes. There ain't no local hospital. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... The struggle to not be nice to Kate, and I know, really. There. He's just a sweet Kate Canadian mm. boy. I better add this to my report. It Likes may... its bacon and beer. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Hey, Philip, how's it going? Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. We Look got beef, we got bacon, we got that's beer. Yeah, that's role. right. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to free hell. medical insurance. Let's talk about the that. <laughs> in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. She I has a long anymore. neck. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I'll stand behind you and your Drunk reports. watching streams? Oh, nice. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. What kind of drunk are Turian. you, Philip? Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the kid... Caden burns garlic, though. Yeah, he does. Do you have a smoke alarm that beeps? Yeah, I do. I'm going to see if I Saren's can get my mom and I to change that tomorrow, because we're off. Humans. I was just thinking Drow's neck. Yeah, that one scene was a really bad... Like, it's normal now, but... Oh, well, it's kind of normal. It's still a little bit too long. Maybe it's because she's bald. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Fantastic kind of drunk? That sounds like a good kind of drunk, man. Vision. Sounds like a good kind of drunk. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. I think it's because she has no hair, to be honest. She has a really long neck. We need to report neck. this to the Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. I he swear, we'll try to change it this attack was Thursday or Friday, because we have off those the two days. My mom and I will change it. Command. I swear. Stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. I know, Philip. It's there's a lot of talking. He's a specter. I mean, we're going to the Citadel, so that's a shit ton more time. talking. I that's swear I will change the fire place. alarm. I swear. It's just really high up and scary, so I'm not doing it myself. When have they ever done anything for humanity? Oh, long neck? Yeah. Very long neck. Council will I just the noticed that. How come I didn't notice that I'll before? And see if he can get us an audience with the council. Anderson we doesn't have a long neck. The 
I don't understand. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, cool. Does she still kind of have a long neck? God, that's weird. Oh, I can't look at her right now. It's really weird. Glad to see you're okay. Commander. The hell you want, Kaden? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. Sure, you could. Been a hell Creation of a week, yeah. Our first mission. Definitely. Respect your killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? I'm not high. Yeah, a lot of biotics are. Cassandra I'm might be sure high though with that sure neck. Go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. He made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? We'll talk another time. Make sure you're good to go for this meeting with the ambassador. She ain't ready to talk about her family. No, 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 no. That's too soon, Caden. Too soon. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. Bye. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. That's grim, Commander. That's true. I, I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. Every time you kill, it gets a little easier. With all due respect, I'm glad you're on our side. No shit. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? It's fine. I've seen friends die before. Ashley's Perhaps neck isn't that green. long. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective. No debriefing yet, Kato. No, no, no. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. God, I love that renegade. I didn't want to get any Paragon yet. <laughs> no Paragon yet. All right, let's get to the Citadel. That seemed like fun, right? Some people have long necks. That's true. They do that whole stretchy thing with those weird necklace ring things. It's a hair. Yeah, it, it probably is the hair. You're probably right. It doesn't look too bad from this angle. It's just the front. Uh, Presley, you got anything? Ah, oh, God, wall. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the God, stop talking about Jenkins. I don't care. <laughs> Jesus. He was a young brat. He didn't understand the ways of a soldier. Anything interesting here? No. Okie dokie. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Jacobs was clearly we wearing a red shirt. You are totally right, Yishu. You're totally right. He just dyed it blue to confuse the uh, riders, that's all. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. 
Good thing is on our I hate how the text is above. Citadel it's annoying. Control. This is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. In some games, it's okay, like clearance Dragon Age, you may begin but your approach. not transferring you to an alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. I don't know. Still face bombing over Normandy, destroying the Tower, ascension. BBC, yeah, yeah, Shu, you you think? Well, I mean, they didn't tell you that you'd be killing more, like, a lot, like, a lot, lot more than just three people. <laughs> they didn't tell you that. <laughs> this is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found so colonies many on more, the of the Turian right? systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks. Yeah, it's not, Larry. Traverse. It's not. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Seren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Damn right. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Okay. And that's why I hate politicians. Me too, Ashley. Me too. Like Cassandra and me. There we go. Let's get to the tower. Welcome to the Presidio. Ew, stupid VI. To be your guide. No way. I ain't talking to no VI. I ain't taking no car either. Let's go take the elevator. Let's go listen to some dialogue. Ew, why are you talking to that freaking Asari? That's disgusting. No aliens. No, no, no. So a good day all around. Dead alien and scrapped alien junk. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The middle option for choice on saving the council isn't good either. So remember that. Yeah, right? The middle choice. Ha, ha. The hell are you doing? What you doing? Oh. You got some stuff? You got some stuff you want to sell? Why am I not wearing my helmet? Helmet. Yeah. Okay, I better now. She's wearing her helmet. That's good. That Being a creepy bug thing. Please. Don't tell me what to do. Please do not disturb the keepers. Don't tell me what to do. Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay, fine. It's a joke that it doesn't exist, I don't remember. Nightlock looks so yeah. She's keeping that helmet on, man. <laughs> I can't stand to look at her without it. Alright you guys, you wanna chit chat? Trust and 
Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. No, we do not. Ooh, it's Garrus. Damn it, I thought I could skip him. Give me more time. I don't want to see you, Garrus. Stop it, you're going to make this harder than it is, Garrus. Oh, my Gare Bear. <laughs> Crap. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Yeah, the choice that says concentrate on Sovereign is the same as let them die. I actually think that's the option I picked, versus let them die. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Uh, I don't know about not recruiting him. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Depends how it plays out. Actually, did I... I'm just curious. That's fine. Don't be ridiculous. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm making this call for you. Look at that wedgie though. That's a super wedgie. The hearing's already started. Come on. Hello, so the options are stacked against you? Yeah, just a more diplomatic way of saying screw them. The Geth attack is a matter One nets some high concern, numbers of renegade points, the other doesn't. Was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. Did and you ever get the books yet, Larry? Did you start to read the history destroyed. between Saren and Anderson yet? You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. You guys know the echo? We dreams into evidence now. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? A traumatized dock worker who wouldn't have known the name Saren unless he heard it said out loud. You know, like when Nihilus said it? This hearing made me think the council was incompetent from the start. I know, really. That's why I kind of don't... Don't feel too bad about killing them. Sometimes. Got the first book, but haven't had a chance to start it yet. On my to-do list, AZ. No prob, no prob. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath.
The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. What well, background is the same as before. She's a colonist and she's ruthless. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing. Or we can do you this. Have too much history. It made the ha, ha, ha. Question I love motives. commands. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The only reason to save them is to gain favor with alien races and those sweet paragon points, if that's what you're going for. Yeah, pretty much. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things cool, like it just that. popped up. That's we right! Were. I love commands. We shouldn't talk about this. Slowly thing. figuring out how they work. I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something. I'll himself. trust him. He's a Turian. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Sarah. Shut up! If he can help, we need to find him. No. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. It's called Streamlabs Chatbot, surely. I'll type it out. Stream Labs chat bot. The only the only thing I don't like about it is you can't custom name your bot, but other than that, it's all right. It's not bad. Got gotcha, you. Not familiar with that one. I've mostly used Nightbot. Yeah, that's like the most common one. I'm only using this one because my f the first streamer that I actually subscribed to, he actually uses this. He said something about this. And, uh... It's actually pretty cool. It has, like, you know, all the, like, games and currency and battling and polls. It's, like, all right there for you, waiting to for you to figure out how the hell to use it. <laughs> You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. Uh-huh. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I! Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Yeah, yeah. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. 
They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. I know, they're jerks. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes Anderson's going to be so disappointing you. Not uh you Don't say that, Larry. Don't say that. I'll still be his child. Once He'll still call me. He did we'll good child, I swear. Protect our own interests. Spoiler. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. I didn't listen to a thing you just said, Anderson. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Alrighty, let's uh let's do this. Oh, and truly, I don't know if you uh if anybody told you, but uh doesn't this look doesn't this uh Citadel Tower map look kind of similar? Doesn't it? Doesn't it look kind of similar? Like, I don't know, like, maybe a reaper? Okay. Shadow Broker, he for now. Damn right. That guy's up to something. What guy? OMG, nobody told you, Shoe? I was pretty surprised when I first found out too. No, I didn't know it's that. Yeah, right. It's weird, but you gotta remember the Reapers created the Citadel, so. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Dun dun dun. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? No, actually. I'm going. So long. I ain't doing your quest. I don't feel like it. Nah, nah, nah. I could get money out of it, but I ain't doing it. I don't know why I went over there anyways. I'm not doing the freaking keepers. Let's go down the elevator again. Listen to some more dialogue. I didn't notice it until around my third or fourth playthrough. I was like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah, right. I didn't notice it until I saw it on, like... A video or Facebook or something I was like whoa what and then I had to look at it for myself I'm like oh that's so cool <laughs> that's just the Reapers being sassy yeah really pretty much god this elevator is so bright it's ridiculous Me too. Let's go. Yeah, right. Let's go. Let's go talk to Barla Vaughn. Welcome 
Hmm. No. You're an N7, Philip? Sweet. How was the training? Oh, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Yeah, it's just a statue. Definitely just a statue. It is in the elevator, Larry. It's always quiet in that elevator. I don't know why it's so quiet. I, I definitely have the duh. Yeah, HDP VR is fine. I'll turn it up a little bit if that'll help. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. Okay. Little Volus. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need information. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. Are you sure? This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. I could beat so you I'm up. I'm going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. I don't know about that. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Saren seems pretty stupid to me. Not something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Okay. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. Cassandra does kind of like the Krogan, knowledge. though, so... I, trade I don't know what's going to happen to Rex yet. We'll wealthy. see what happens. But the, Shadow Broker the Krogan is probably the only race that uh, Cassandra day, likes, to be honest. secrets that could topple governments. Always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one. Identity. It's not. Spoiler. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. God, it's like Orlay. Jesus Christ. I thought you'd know more about the man Okay, so there's for. some hope for Rex better than nothing? Yeah, there's some hope. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. There's some That's hope for a grunt, involved. too. I like we'll it that see. Way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Okay, little Volus. I should go. Little roly-poly. See you later. Um. 
I'll go take the elevator. It's kind of a long walk, but it's okay. I'll go take the elevator. I think I can go this way. What's up, Caden? If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Yeah, right. Krogan are sweet. Cassandra probably likes the Krogan because they are a bunch of badass, tanky guys. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. He's a lot like Jack. Still not sure I'll be watching your ME3 play for you, AZ. Are you sure, Larry? It won't be that bad. Maybe. <laughs> Oh damn it! I should have gone the other way. That's fine. Oh, this is gonna take longer. Oh, there are stairs right there, but there's also a ramp right here. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. Alright, let's go to the Citadel. Or the, not the Citadel, we're already there, you idiot. Let's go to the C-Sec. Any more dialogue? Because I actually don't know if there is or not, to be honest. In light of the recent yeah, nope. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. It's fun doing that while wearing headphones. Because <laughs> he literally goes around and around and around in each headphone. <laughs> I can't save in an elevator. There we go. Hey Rex, what's up, man? I'm just wondering about a few decisions in Mass Witnesses Effect 3. I saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Krogan looks so much better in this game than Andromeda. I'm just gonna say that right now. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? <laughs> I like you, Shepard. I like you too, Rex. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. That's right! Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. It's a deal. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We don't need him, Ashley. He's a Turian. We can handle this on our own. Damn right we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Noise. Uh, that. Noise. Why does he only get two points? I don't understand that. Anywho, where was I? I'm just wondering about a few decisions in the Mass Effect 3. Not gonna spoil because some of them are really hardcore fucking harsh punishments to the gut. If you choose certain things. I know, Ford. I know. This is still my favorite version of the Citadel. Yeah, that's why I'm not looking forward to it. Honestly, the Krogan are probably my favorite aliens. Their love of violence is just so pure. I know, really? It's so cute. Yeah, I'd rather hang out with a Krogan any day. Grunt will always be my baby boy. He's everybody's baby boy. Let's be serious. Though I think if I was in the Mass Effect universe and I was an alien, I think I'd be a Corian. To be honest. Because I like their lifestyle, kind of. So. Make sure I'm all decked out. I can't wear better armor yet, so that sucks. About Rex, I got anything for you? No, nah, not really. I guess you can have that, Rex. You can have that. Alright, that's it. We're good to go. Let's go uh, save this weird O Quarian. Have you things have you seen Stranger Things, uh Zuki? Have I seen Stranger Things, you say? Well my uh my lurk option was actually gonna be about the upside down. It's funny how you mentioned that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm freaking addicted to uh Stranger Things very, very much. I actually got uh if you're interested, not to promote me or anything, but I got that, um, I don't know if you know about Loot Crate, but Loot Crate had a, uh, Stranger Things special edition Loot Crate, and I totally bought that, and it had some pretty neato stuff in it, man. Pretty neato stuff. I can't reach it, but all this, all this stuff I put over there, and they have a really funny shirt, too, in that, in that crate. I don't know if you can still get it or not. I love the shirt. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. Wear that tomorrow stream and show ya. I saw your unboxing on YouTube. Yes, I know you did, Larry. That was a really good box. I was super excited. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, definitely. I'll wear the shirt tomorrow if I remember. It's a long sleeve though, so I might get hot. <laughs> might get hot. Where am I going? Oh, that's right, I'm going to... Where am I going? I'm going to... Don't kid yourself. It's even bigger than it looks. How do you know? I got a tour. Eww! Krogan butt! I don't want to say Krogan butt. I was trying to listen to their dialogue and look at the cool section, but no! I got a friggin' Krogan butt! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigator. The hell was that? Here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel. Freaking Rex. I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Really? Oh, wow! It's you! Oh, Conrad. Mass Effect was based on a lot of 80s sci fi troops. Like tech music, yeah. You're commanding. I could Shepard, tell that. I could tell. Not as much as the I Alien so series, but I could tell. 
Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. Yeah, some of the music. Conrad. Conrad this is Strange Burner. Things has that old they say sound. You yeah, it's true. Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. Yeah, your wife. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. No, nah, no problem, Conrad. No problemo. God, there's so many aliens here. It's disgusting. Look at that guy being all shifty. Conrad, you old goof. Or to put it another way, a bit like my record collection. I actually kind of want to get records again. I hear they're coming back. I really want a record like player because I think they're cool. Yeah, my friggin' way. Sorry, Rex. I didn't mean to do that just yet to ya. God, please don't tell me I'm stuck in the table. I'm not. There we go. Love that he's based on the typical fanboy. I never ran into the autograph guy. Really? You never ran into Conrad? How could you, Shu? How could you? I have over 500 vinyls, really? Some of them incredibly valuable? That's really cool, Ford. Have a couple faves. Nice I got rid of so many of mine when CDs came out and got it now. Yeah, kind of sucks. My mom got... What sucks for my mom... She had thousands of CDs, okay? And this happened many, many years ago when iTunes with iTunes and uh, iPods were just becoming a thing. Like she, she still has it, and it still works. She had the uh, giant iPod Classic. She, she put all of her CD songs on it, but then when she got iTunes and they updated. She, you know, neither of us knew that you had to hit no for syncing the iTunes library. And she lost so much music. And this was literally days after she s sold a bunch of those CDs to uh, FYE. Because we really needed money. And she lost a lot of music. I mean, a lot of music. She was so pissed off. I still feel really bad about that day. I feel really bad. That's why I'm like super careful with iTunes now. Stop right there. You can't Don't trust it. Closer. I well, know they delete my music. The I know they do. Dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Like not on my actual iPod, but like in my actual library. Like I swear I bought that song before. But now I no longer have it. You're saying I no longer have it. That I never purchased it. I'm like, that's bullshit. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh 
Yeah, I just completely skipped him. I love my copy of the Beatles White Album, which is one of the numbered ones with the photo booklet still included in it. Yeah, that's worth a fortune, Ford. Damn, if anything happens, like anything major, at least you got a backup. Same with Sgt. Pepper's booklet, cutouts, etc. Damn, that sucks lazy. Yeah, it really does. Also have the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour double EP with the booklet with pics from the film in it. Damn, Ford. You're going to be loaded one day, possibly, if you ever get rid of it. But the longer you wait, the more it'll be uh, worth. So, like once all the Beatles die out, that thing will be worth a lot of money. Because some of the Beatles are still kicking, right? Alright, now see, these are turrets. They might be hard. You can definitely do this, Larry. Wait, I'm just saying. Me, I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. Nice I don't way know to look at it, Z. Is, hey, I'm just looking at the future, him. man. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. I have a quadrophonic vinyl pressing of Dark Side of the Moon. Ooh, that's cool. Also have first press of Pink Floyd's Metal LP and first LP of King Crimson's Court of the Crimson King. Damn. Damn, for damn. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. I think my mom would love you. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. My She's dad and I collected right shitloads of vinyls. Can yeah, I can tell. Oh my gosh! The shadow Innocent little killing. Canadian boy. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Still a bunch of renegade. Come on, pick out. Oh, hi. Pop up, thanks. I don't want to use that, but okay. Whatevs. All targets down. Thank you. I actually can save here, okay. Let's see if we cannot have Tally. Kinda interested. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. We did it. Just 
set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway. Yeah, follow me, Corian. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the war. Hey, so even someone who hates aliens has got to have a soft port for Tally. Many... <laughs> Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe I've stored all my vinyl away so nothing or no one gets to it. I've either bought CDs or have Spotify lists for listening. Oh, that's cool. Here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Because Saren just wants to get this done, can you tell? <laughs> Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. But when I want to listen to jazz and listen on vinyl, it just has that sound you can't really reproduce anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Tally is precious. She is. Are they some kind of new alien species? Ah, oh, great, a According new alien species. That's exactly what Cassandra needs. Machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The yeah, I know, no Shu, I know. It sucks he can't romance Saren her as a female. Bring the, Reapers back. the Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Why? Even if they don't believe anything else. Damn it, Anderson. Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. You're not ready for this, Tally. I mean, you were stupid enough to think that the Shadow Broker would actually come to you and you fell right into a trap? Uh-uh. You're not ready for this. I think this is more than you can handle. She's already survived a run-in with the Geth Shepherd, and we need all the help we can get. Take her with Well, you. damn, Udina. Okay, then. I will go ahead to get things well, you gotta to have Tally, apparently. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Well, damn. I was kind of hoping not to have her. Oh, well. Hi, Professor. I'm doing pretty good. What game is this? Oh, is this Emmy? Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Again with this. You've never played it? Damn. 
You're missing out, Professor. You really are missing out. You should play it sometime. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Okay. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I uh, should, but I think I've body be been to too spoiled on the but other the Mass Effect games. Request. Yeah, that's true, but there's always a bunch of different choices you could do, Professor. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive If you romance Garrus, damn. Sh you since she time. was a romance Garrus, I could just spill the I beans about something Tally does to Citadel DLC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like Tally. <laughs> I mean, I like her, but... You know. Collect all this stuff. Free experiments. I really miss the Elcor. I really do love the Elcor. I don't like how she's just a person with your pale skin. Like, why? Well, I wish they had bug mouth or something. Yeah, I suppose so. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Cassandra don't care about no consort. I don't have to go over here. I'm not doing the quest. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something yeah, I can do? Yeah, it's like you? a photoshopped photo of Tally. She's pretty much a human with white eyes. <laughs> At least the Quarians look elfish. Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah. You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid the less that said about that bloody that photo, scene. the better. Serviceman is the shittiest and Loki thing that people prime. did not Mr. even Batia, no notice. Yeah. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Batia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is Whoops. a long-term study. I hit study. my mic. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. 
a year or longer, damn. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. No. You know who and what I am. If I want Nirali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident. It was by lazy on Bioware's part. Tell yeah, it really that was. the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Okay, dude. Nine Renegade. Let's go. Let's go. Hello again, so on YouTube did a really good tally work? face reveal animation and dropped it to part of the Emmy footage. It's so well done. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I'll see if I can look it up. Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin. But it my might be Half Life Three effect. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Slams both screw you, Smash? little bitch. You release her all cave. You're thick headed. Wife, yeah, he really does have a Nirali thick head, loved doesn't you he? Very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It looks like all the males have really thick heads. Do I have enough renegade to take care of the jellyfish? No, I don't think I do. I need a little bit more renegade. I think anyway, I'll go try it, but I'm pretty sure I need one more bar. Got their eyes. They told me Andromeda was bad. This is wow. I know, right? 2007 game, man. 11 years old. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. I don't think I can take care of this yet, but let me just see. This creep me out and I don't get affected by Uncanny Vanny. <laughs> One believes it has the right to move. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You ready? You ready, Ford? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Uh huh. Do you desire to you learn mind Mass Effect Three? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? A different company, though, Professor. Different company. Different uh, engine. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. Uh. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, I don't have enough. I'll be back. Don't got enough just yet. This one will con- No, this one will not. Please don't. That's creepy. Same 3D modeling program? Oh. I don't know then. Still a different company, I guess. Different art team. Welcome 
to the Presidium. Allow me to do All right, let's go become a specter. I still don't know which mission to go to first tomorrow. I definitely don't want to do Liara because I don't think she'd go after Liara just yet. Oh, this is new. I mean, it's only been like, what, 30 minutes? I doubt he got that much of a head start, Caden. I think I want to go to Pharaoh, so I'm just not going to have enough Renegade points, but I guess it doesn't matter. What I Hanar and Elkar are having in a heated argument? I know, that. I actually want to see that. I hope they do that in the next Mass Effect game. I want to see that so badly. Hello, Garrus here. This game has better animations than Andromeda. A 2007 game is better than a 2017 game. That's pretty messed up. Yeah. It is. It is. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Okay. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status. First hit on YouTube called Tally's Face Reveal Secret crimes. Cinematic. Oh, okay. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking. Thanks, Larry. Song. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she has this many one does not agree with your flawed she logic. A ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of Fury, machines. Fury, what do you that know? I don't even approach. think you have any brains in that body. Don't. Oh, God. Never underestimate a Hanar. No, don't. Do not. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. This one believes that for their return. We think your the cranium is lost the bringing them sufficiently back. within Saren's your... Oh, my God. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. You guys are great. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life I love in the my galaxy. chat. Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using Bad to Bad Astley, if you weren't such weak. a stupid jellyfish, I would feel sorry for you and your family. With anger and pain, say that to my face. <laughs> ah. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for oh, his life. Oh, that was much better. I tip no my hand to you. The resources of a spectre. Yeah. The council has stripped him of his position. That Ford's is pretty not good. good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. 
Humanity is not ready Look at that shade she's giving him. That shade, though. It was a Turian this is my favorite who line. Betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. I love that line so much. He's just like, burn, man, burn. Udina, why I loved you and your bulldog Shepherd ways, I know, right? Forward. Remember, no spoiler, no spoilers, Professor. Shu is new. She's new to the whole uh, Mass Effect universe. Unless she asks for it. Well, he's the air quotes guy. Ah, uh, yes. You be Reapers. All the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an Yeah, idea. no spoilers. The what spoilers, courage, right? I got you, Professor. They I got right you. the hand of the Council. Instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace. Both our first and That's right, last Professor. That's the right, you just like Udina. <laughs> you are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Okay. Congratulations, he is a bulldog. He is not an Andromeda, so I just used past tense. That's true, that's true. He is not an Andromeda. He did not come over to Andromeda. You should go down to the C -Sec Academy. I thought this was speak to the Specter Requisitions Office. This bit was Anderson, quite funny. All these fancy speeches about Spectres right after we were arguing, yelling at each other. Yeah, you're right, Shu, you're right. It's like they had to suck it up. Now please Not leave you, thank you crazy me, ass human, you scare us? Nah. Are they really scared of Cassandra? That's a good thing. <laughs> what do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. I wonder if I can do it now. Oh yeah, I can do it now. Sweet. I can do it now. Alright, let's go do any side quests that Cassandra would do. And then, uh, end the stream for tonight. There's not too many that she would do. But let's equip. Oop. Let's equip everybody. Um. Ah, yes. Reapers. The immortal race of Senia Starchus allegedly waiting in Dark Spix. We have dismissed that claim. I just want to punch Counselor Spataras. I, I forget how to pronounce his name. And both mandibles when he did that. I know, really. So who's the person that is having their Emmy cherry popped? That is shoe. That is shoe. It is shoe. I actually don't know. Let me see if this works. Hold on. Uh, so. Damn it! It doesn't work. But here we go. I have to fix that. There we go. <laughs> go check her out. She's super funny. I love her. That message is supposed to have her, uh, her URL. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. Love you. <laughs> love you. Okay. I'm going to have to fix some of my commands, it looks like. Heat absorption. No, we're pretty fine with that. Nah. Okay. Yes. 
20, 25. Do that one. That's fine. Oh yeah, I can wear this now. Noise. Noise, noise. Okay, Caden. Uh, nothing better though. Nah. Nah, Caden, nah. There you go, Caden. Ashley, you can have that. Nah, that's fine. There we go. Oops, have a sniper. Okay, sweet. Alright, let's go do some talking to people. Emmy 3, then the spoilers will come in due time. Oh yeah, they will. It's a great game. Hey Shu, this is no good. You're offline. Oh yeah, I hosted Zuki earlier. I still don't know... Still don't like how Bioware, no matter how many years they spend making games, they still have not fixed their rendering problem. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go talk to Admiral Kahoku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Congratulations on becoming the first human specialist. Thanks! Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. No problem. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. All right, no Paragon. Sweet. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy might get me some Paragon. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to I don't think I ever talked to this thing. guy either. Go How did I miss on. so much stuff? I don't know, Shu. How did you miss so much stuff? Did you not explore? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? Yeah? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. Yeah, it's true, Shu. You keep, like what Larry they said, you play through it, failure, play through it ten more attack. times and you still find things that are different. Apparently not enough on the Citadel. Oh. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. 
but he kept it in good condition. Yeah, I mean, one definitely seemed more open world as compared to two. Light. Can't speak of three but yet. They don't have any real weapons yeah, machines. three three is the if same as two. After them, the, majesty'd be a sitting duck. the only other open world Mass Effect game is Andromeda. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Oh, no Paragon. Sweet. Alright, let's go take the elevator again. Do, 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 do. We are done on the tower. Gotta make sure I make all my rounds. Then uh, we'll be good to go. Be good to go. Yeah, Andromeda was very open world. Very open world. Yes, it was. Or it is, I should say. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Okay, Ashley. Really didn't make good time tonight, Easy? Yeah, I am doing pretty good. There aren't too many quests left to do. Probably end this in about another 30, 40 minutes. I did very good tonight. I would have had to end it now, but I have off tomorrow, so... I don't have to get up early. Um, okay, how do I want to walk around this place? Uh, I guess I'll go this way. We'll just make a little loop-de-loop -loop around this way, we'll, and we'll catch everybody. Oh, Kaden, you want to say something about it now, too? Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It makes my teeth tingle. That's because it's an actual relay. You're not really as railroaded into doing things here as you were in ME2. It still did have some kind of open world feel to it, but more linear than ME1. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. Okay. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Oh, yeah? You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Okay. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye, Helen. Renegade. You're basically forced into working with Cerberus from the get-go. Luciferman said that said you could leave anytime you wanted to after Freedom Progress, but nope. Yeah, that's actually very true. Never really thought about it like that. 
Flemeth slumming it on the Citadel. Yeah, you're right. Holy ah, shit, that is Flemeth, isn't it? This one is greatly pleased to see you. Was that Flemeth? I should be oh, going. I didn't want to do that. As you wish. I wanted to you buy from him. You are able. Commander, it is yep. good to see you. Um, there's nothing that way because I don't want to talk to the consort. There is nothing that way because I already talked to that one guy. And there's no reason to go to the Fullis and Alcor ambassadors because I'm not doing the consort. And there's nothing in the other... In the, uh, Udina's office. Okay, so I'm done here. Well, I thought I was going to be stuck for a second. So, uh, let me go do this jellyfish part. And I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm done here. Yeah, let me go do this jellyfish part. Yeah, pretty sure she is. That's cool. It is. Like, Logan was a... Korean admiral? Really? I gotta start listening to voices more. Canari, not Corian. I get those two mixed up so much. They, they're just... So they're spelled almost the same. So many crossovers. Jesus. Okay, now I can take care of this. That Hanar refuses to yeah, we to already reason. saw this. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. Damn right. How can I? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to. Sp I didn't. Ask Oops, sorry. Life, human. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers, or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The C -Sec officer is yeah, just the guy who voices job. Logan also trouble. voices Han Garel. Really? This one is too humble to suggest that the C -Sec officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice Big the listeners against the Hanar. stupid jellyfish. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Okay. Yeah. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Don't learn from my example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. That's not a smart that thing to do. Me, I should report to my superiors. Yay, leveled. Um. Ew! I have one point in charm. Why? Let's go down here now. Oh, he's so sad. And not forgetting Samantha Trainer got a nice promotion in DII. Yeah, I know that one. I know that one. And of course, Admiral Zen, Athena, and Morgan. Oh, really? Jeez. I really need to pay more attention. I really, really do, don't I? In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment.
Oh, they refused to comment, you guys. How could they? How could they? I don't think there's anything down here. It's a bunch more aliens and stuff. So how are you liking your posting but I do have to come back down here when I go to Flux, so... I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. Okay. Let us go up. Also moonlighting. Is uncharted. Ooh. Okay, sleepy time Hilarious for me. Have a good night. Have a good night, Shuli. Good night. Have a good rest. Have a good day and night. Site, claiming that artifacts I hope to of the see you tomorrow. As the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. And it's almost sleepy time for me too, but I gotta. I want to finish all these missions, like I said I was gonna do. Man, I'm sleepy. <sighs> yeah, oh, poor shoe. Oh, what a cute little, little kitty with a little heart. It's so cute. Forgot he changed. No, it's so cute. Night, night, shoe. All right, let's do a little test. Um,. Does anybody know if I go into here, if it'll still start Garrus' thing? Probably will, right? I kind of want to help the uh, doctor, but not if it's going to start all that. Caden, don't get up in their business. They're talking about something very important. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fist files? Quick save this first, could be even okay. Bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. It auto triggers? Okay. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview? An interview? Is wink, over? wink. Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to I think it, I think you're right, Larry. It probably you does auto-trigger. Oh, well, poor Dr. Michelle. She ain't gonna be no use to me in Mass Effect 3, that's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. Ah, let's go up to Flux first. Nice to humans, of course. Of course! Absolutely. You should be careful who you say that around. Oh man, my sisters would love this place. Maybe when this is all over, I'll bring them here for a girl's night out. Okay. It's out of my hand. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's dad. Oh, yeah. The problem is, she's working as an informant I like those CISA. pixel boobies you, know, you got there. The people there. That under boob pixels. It's nice. Kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSA is? At a certain point, leveling up. No. You it's get a block of Paragon or Renegade points regardless. That office, sucks. He told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. 
You're welcome. Money. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace the signal. You do that, Kate, and you do that. Wow, that shell shading for looks sexy for that underboob. I know, right? Totally hit that. Totally hit that. Shazie will start again until she figures a way around that. Yeah, I might. It'd be great if I did. I don't want. I want very little Paragon. I know I probably got some Paragon from Emily, right? B barely anything. Barely anything. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come God damn it, and I can't cheat on console. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. Alright. Well, I don't know about it at all, Larry. We still got a long way to go. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. If you want many good supplies. Oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least I got one upgrade. That's nice. Now let's go to Chorus Den. Well, a block of tower today is what I mean. Yeah, that, yeah, I get you now, Ford. I get you. That's what I was talking about, like, uh, down here. I was like, why do I have a block of uh, charm? I didn't do that, but you get that when you become a specter. I have not. I want to try it when I'm streaming. Maybe I'll do that uh, Sunday or something. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? No, Caden, you idiot. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. She is very charming, isn't she? Ew, you yucky Turian, you touched me. Questions about Jenna. Meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Why they is that Turian touching me? Have you tried their food? Oh, sorry, Blood Beetle is great. Oh god, that sounds gross. That sounds disgusting. Cassandra would eat no alien food. Alright, so I'm, I bought everything up there. I just gotta go to uh, Chorus Den. Okay. No, I already went there. I gotta go to CSEC for a little bit. And then back here. Am I going the right way? I am not going the right way. Oh, My eyes are getting sleepy. But I don't have that much more to do. I can do it. I can do it. That's Presidium, yeah. C sex over here. When you eat it, it spits meat that makes its own gravy. Ew, that's disgusting. I don't know. Tell me, Professor, how do you like it? It sounds like you've had it before. How'd you like that gravy?
Coming up in a it doesn't sound very today, appetizing. Aaron Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? Okay. Excuse me. I cannot crack that. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Detective Chilling, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? What's your tone, Chilling? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. I'll stick with protein or chili fries risk, myself. We're keeping a close eye on her. Well, you don't really eat it. No, I can. The stomach pains. Ah! So much. The stomach pains won't let you, but the taste. For the long stream and eye drop. Oh, thanks, Larry. You're so nice. Thank you so much, Larry. <laughs> and eye drops. Yeah. I should like splash my eyes with coffee or something. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job well, probably isn't almost easy, hit and four it's hours. Unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find. But try it. to get some sleep, Larry. But since you were so concerned with her safety, like not come tomorrow or something. A way we can help I feel bad. Other. I'm ruining your Always sleep schedule. The angles, and your work. As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? But the prize. Come on, Chalik. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Nah, he didn't, Professor. He didn't. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. <laughs> Larry could be an Jack's alien, I don't know. The whole thing with Jacob is creepy. Yeah, I know. Jacob's gross. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Oh, look at that renegade. I'll talk to uh, Jolene in a second. Let me go up here. Don't think there's anything over here. And that, and that, and nothing here. Okay, let's go talk to Jaleed. I was about to say, oh, are you not going to have any voice? Sick, <laughs> that kind of was Did you late. Want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. There is nobody behind you. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. T 
Tell him to leave me alone. Okay. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. My awesome power, His right? His Sorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. That sweet-ass sword. How, how do they look under their suit? If they can only live under high pressure, would their skin be super soft? Ooh! A super soft volus. That sounds interesting. I would cuddle up with that. I'd cuddle up with that if they're super, super soft. They're like a little teddy bear. A short, fat little teddy bear. One sec, hooking you up. Maybe that's another reason why they're, uh, they're delaying the next Mass Shepherd Effect game because they want to reveal what the quarry is the and the Volus look like because everybody wants to know. How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need one to make sure four would be a bad guy crossed. when they are given Sir, power. You Even when they don't start out as one. Uh-oh, Larry. Careful with that sword, man. Careful. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. It's gonna be weird playing as a paragon, commander. I'll tell you that. Enjoy. Been playing as a renegade for so long. I swear, if you have nothing for me, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Okay, you have something. All right, thank you. Either you die a hero or live as the villain. You quoting uh you quoting Solus there, pal? All right, I'm not taking the elevator anymore. I'm getting tired. I'm I'm going to I'm going to fast travel. Uh markets, right? Yes. <laughs> you can't ban this ugly mug. Oh, look at the little doge. The little doge. You're too tired to walk. Damn it, Larry. Hold it. That's close enough. If you want to go to bed, go ahead. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. Yeah. Uh, Batman? Right. Damn straight. The one with Two Face and Joker? Ah, oh, I see. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done. My here. fireplace is blowing, blowing out cold air, not Nobody hot died. air. I could shoot someone if it'd make you feel better. Nah, I'm good. I'm sorry, Ashley. Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. Drop your weapons. Now! I don't think so, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. Come and get it, Solarian. It'll be the last mistake you make. Fine. Have it your way. Boys? Now it gets fun! Let's not attack them, okay? Let's attack these guys. Wait, I give up. I give up. 
Please don't kill me. Why not? Why shouldn't I kill you right here? Why are you willing to die for this data? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. Yeah, you're right. What I was thinking. I was talking about UAC taking fast travel. Oh, I see, I see. I want to see Krogan in a formal party attire like a proper one. Yeah, same here. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. That's what all the fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. Why would Solarians be bandits? They only live to be 20? After now that's a waste of life. Here, yeah, pretty much is. Anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to Still keep the data Still like the himself. super polite Krogan that works Maybe for Thax. So. Yeah, me too. Me too. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. I suggest you stick to research and leave the espionage to the rest of us. Well, I won't. Or I, I will. Stick to research, that is. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye What about Jalid? I'm gonna show him what happens to people who lie to me. Damn right I am. Fast travel. <laughs> He's extremely polite and it's a bit unnerving. Oh, come on, a Krogan could be polite. Remember the Blue Rose of Ilium guy. He's super nice. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. This is serious, Jaleed. You could spend the rest of your life locked up. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? It'll get, uh, uh destroyed. It's a bit late to be thinking about that. It's really late, Caden. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets Oh, of the Krogan keepers. that runs a tailor shop. Think that would do it. Yeah, probably. Data. Kind of like extremely well-spoken gangster in the last Boy Scout movie. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Take it back. Return the data, or I'll have you arrested right here, right now. All right, I will. I'll take it back to work and continue developing it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Just go. Um, Commander? No. Would you be interested in helping no. me study the keepers? I don't have time for this. Well, I thought I'd ask. <laughs> so long. He took that well. He took that pretty damn well. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Don't smile at me, Turian. Excellent. This is everything I need. Maybe like more the than I need. Boshna and ME3. The commander, take this. The young Krogan, the Krogan. You earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now we're getting get beaten up by the evidence. inventor of Scrabble. Thanks again, Shepard. 
Ew, I got Paragon. That's okay. It was for Jenna. Oh shit! Maybe I can talk to uh to the lady. Hold up. Maybe I can talk to the lady. Don't talk to me. Garrus is just standing there. Like, no, don't leave without me. Don't leave without me, AZ. Please don't. I guess I could go talk to her then. I'll go do that really quick. That added a quest that I didn't want to do. Oh, my hair. Like you talk to it, they say that making clothes is a passion of mine. And now that I'm in drama and the hard work of making a new chunka is done, they have time for new passions. There is so much to do on the Citadel, it's crazy. Yeah, what is it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Just a little paragon, but worth it. Yeah, you're right, Larry. He assumed I was cheating. Either you're cheating or you're not. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. It only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. A Krogan running a Nobody gambling den? Those. Oh yeah. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. Oh, I forgot the word casino. Complete the algorithms. Yeah. That still works. Still works, Professor. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system. But I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Let me do it. I'll help you out. Hmm. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Okay. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. I did. Well, off you go. Okay, bye. The data won't collect itself. It's not what I heard. And what did you hear? Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Aw, poor Rita. I kind of like the idea, but think people already had enough issues with MEA to then add artistic Krogan types? Yeah, true, true. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I know. Look that window to the stars. In. One can hope. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out Ow. of his ass for it, too. <laughs> I hurt my finger. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. I think that tool should be worth something to you. I suppose it is. That's right. Uh, take a few tries of Quasar. On the house. I won't. I'll just take your money. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. A single tail rolls down my right what cheek. One can Get a job. hope. You're no help at all. Ding. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. I don't think I can fast travel to the medic clinic, even though it's right there. All right, Garrus, you better not have fast traveled over here. I'll be pretty pissed if you did. <laughs> Thanks.
they really want you to recruit Gareth. I didn't know he would just stand in front of the elevator. That's ridiculous. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? I guess not. Bye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking. Well, maybe I don't do the mission for her. I'll check next time I come to the Citadel. Somebody remind me that I gotta go talk to Dr. Michelle again, okay? Probably after I do a story mission, I'll come back to the Citadel. Okay, so I am... I am done up here, but I gotta go down to these lower parts, so... That is what I will do. But hey, I'm the small detail makes the game kind of guy. No, I get you. I get you, Professor. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I think it's just this money one and then I'm done. I can go on the ship, make that speech, and then go the hell to bed. I love streaming though. Like it was, the I wish I didn't get tired so easily. One day in the far far future I'd like to do a 24 hour stream. But that's, that's, that's the way way future. I'd have to, yeah I'd have to be able to quit my job. <laughs> Or do it during off season. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics. I just get so tired. I feel so old. I get tired once no it hits 1 a.m. I feel like passing out. Like the back leg of the Tempest hanging off the landing pad. Yeah, you told me about that. Like the idea that a Krogan. Paper proof that slaying scientists finding to be fools. Ooh, that'd be cool. I did everything up here. I just gotta go to the financial district. I don't feel like walking there. Even though it's right there, I don't feel like it. I don't. Take me there. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Perfect spot. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the first Okay. And I talked to him every already, so. Let's see if I can remember what your thing is. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. What the hell is that? An AI. Sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. Squeaky chair. However, I need a new chair, you guys. An organic prejudice against AIs. Oh, come I on, so you can finish up tomorrow. No! Peacefully. No! Hence I want to get to the Normandy. To enable a self I sequence. can do it. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Blech. Unbeknownst to him, 
That AI created me before the organic Is he talking about that Solarian? Malfunction and terminated the AI. Ow, my back really hurts. <laughs> Crap. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. You're dead. Oh no, a Turian, okay. Has a warm -up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Hey, I made a VI? Wow. I know, right? Aha, I did it. I remembered. Okay, so let me see here. I did everything here. I gotta go look at this uh, map thing. Believe I did everything I wanted to here. Yes, I did. And I did do everything here, but I gotta still see if I can do uh, Dr. Michael's quest, but I'll try to do that next time, hopefully, if I'm able to. Yeah, pretty sure I did everything. Let me just go see if she'll say it now, since I left. We'll, we'll see. I doubt it. I guess because I didn't help her out, I didn't save her life. So now she wants to be all salty with me. Oh no, it still happened. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint This is the last Captain. quest, then we'll get on the Normandy and end the stream. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you coming. Again? I was never here in the first place. Who is that on the vid? What do they want? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. I can help. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. Yeah, They're I'm just saying that Slayer's would be like a Krogan scientist. What a ridiculous thought. Ew. <laughs> give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't I had no again. idea you could work around me and Gara. Sorry, Izzy. No, that's no problem. I see. I just so happened to see him waiting at the know. elevator, so I'd be I forced to talk to with him. With and I'm like, oh, that must mean that he's not with Dr. Michelle anymore. I really I'm pretty sure he was at that Thanks. time when I wanted to see him. When I'll I wanted to talk to Dr. Michelle. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. So. Or Dr. Michael. How the hell pronounce the name? So, this is no problem. This is really quick. I can simply fast travel. Markets. There's some easy renegade points right here. I hope Garrus doesn't force me to talk with him because I don't want to recruit him. He's standing right in front of the elevator though, so yeah. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Bane you'd screw uh. this up. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. Or you'll have to deal with me. 
We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? Can we get you the right and the next Mass Effect writing team, please? I with the one who spoke right? With the Hire professor, please. Goodbye. I have another question. Yes, do we ever can. actually Goodbye, find out who the hell Baines is? I don't think we do. I mean, you talk to Kahoku, but he doesn't tell you anything. And I go to the system where they say Baines' body was, but there's nothing there. If I start writing Emmy fanfiction, maybe. Maybe. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. A thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Baines was Sounds a red name. herring that led you Baines. to Amal Kahoku? I wonder if oh, you okay. Baines. We worked together a long time ago. I get you. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the captain knows him. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Nope. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Thanks. Yeah, he does say he died, but it sounded like he was such an important character, you know? I'm like, wait, what did he do that everybody hates him? Alright, let's get to C-Sec. Woo! Let's have a lengthy conversation with Anderson. Ugh. Look, Garrus is standing right there. I don't want to talk to you, Garrus. I'm just gonna sneak by. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a Spectre. I'm glad somebody got the Council to see Saren for what he really is. <laughs> I'm in a hurry here, Gare Bear. What do you want? I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. He quit from his job. If I don't take him, he's gonna be a lost puppy. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Fine! Welcome aboard, Garrus. You Why did I shake his hand? I regret it because I shook your hand. I didn't want to shake your hand. Whatever. Whatever. I'm making a new save. I might change my mind. <laughs> I suppose I could put it in the fact that oh, I could. Cassandra would think I can kill him whenever I want. If I, if he does me if he does me wrong, I could kill him in his in sleep or something. Of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage. They really do want you to take everybody, don't they? A devoted wife it's and annoying. Chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the deferred education plan. After finishing her service, are you really Batia disappointed? I can reload. Hold on, what happens if I say no? I'm actually interested. Oh, how far back is this save though? Oh, okay, it's right here. Good. Just let me sneak by. Congratulations. 
I'm glad somebody got the council to see Saren for what he... I re You're the only one who seems to be doing... I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren it really hurts not to take him. I have this friend in Canada that got hired for a children's show after they looked at a pic of a skull she made? That's weird. I don't want you on this mission. I'll be here if you change your mind. What should I do? Do I take him or not? I could not. That wasn't too, too bad. But he's going to stand there all by himself. AC, I was kidding. Do whatever you want. I don't know, Easy, but I need to hit the sec before I doze off right here. Yeah, I know, I know, me too. Um. That was a really hard decision. I'll take him. I'll take him. If I don't feel right about it, I can just reload before I stream tomorrow. She hates Turians, but after all the claims he makes, it's just, you know. And just take him and leave him. Just take him and leave him in his little corner next to the Mako. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Just don't take him anywhere. You're right, you're right. Okay. Well, good night, Ford. Love. Thanks for coming out again. I hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night and day. Have a good night and day. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. What? Every time I think I have a handle on things, the Universe Bank's hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. I swear to God, if I end up playing the same playthrough as I did with the fake Cassandra, I'm going to be so pissed off. Take that spiny skin bastard, you can always use some more toothpicks. You are right, Professor. You are absolutely right. Absolutely right. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years Utina. ago. Utina! They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. When Ask I see later, that I man, I cry. Oh, poor Professor. But now all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. 
Don't even try to find Why him. Why not? But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau. I'll start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I mean, I'm still I a human. A to to, what the hell are you saying, Udina, that I'm an alien or have? something? Rude. Rude ass. Let me get that. Damn it. It's so hard to get this. Here we go. What's up, Caden? You can see half the citadel from up here. You can. When you look out and see something this beautiful. Oh. It really helps you understand what we're fighting to save. Aw. I got a little bit of paragon, but that's okay. That's okay. Um I'll work on that. There we go. Okay. Big surprise. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. Well, 100% would make on a the rogue next Emmy. Funded by Mass Effect and Drama Game Crate is. He was trying to set up a facility to develop if illegal each race AI had an affinity out to you. Alliance so, by signing with one race and not the other, the would make some machines harder to erase. To help harder or easier. Yeah, you're right. We tracked the like going to, to one shop where they don't like you either, they increase the prices or outright not sell to you and vice versa. That'd be cool. Yeah, I agree sneak with Larry. Plant, That'd be cool. Capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Captain Anson right here spoiling the book for you. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion. Commander. He killed lots of people. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. At least they died together. Saren was eliminated. Right? There's conflict. always a bright side. And I ended up taking the In blame. most things. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me yeah, of Yeah, I forgot Spectre. about that, Larry. <laughs> he said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. 
One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You can literally it. have your insert you race here, hater or lover. That's true. Body. I spoke to Kahoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Baines the next time you see him. Okay. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? No, that's it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Let's go have our nice speech and then end the stream. I'm just imagining Corian and saying, is that the Pathfinder? What's that Bosch, Bosch debt doing here? I'm sold, so get writing. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Almost a four hour stream, I told to you. Captain Anderson survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on the I'd always mission, be friends with the Quarians. Same here. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we if will. Rex's not happy. Neither is Garrus. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. Rex and Garrus did not look very happy at that. Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care one little bit. Ah, been an epic stream, AZ. Them eyelashes are very 1960s. I know, right? Aren't they great? They're fantastic. Look at that. I'm already over the first bar of Renegade. That's amazing. I like it. Anyways, I have to end the stream here. Tomorrow, I think I'll continue with uh, Cassandra some more. Maybe I'll do some side missions and try to finish a story mission. Yeah, and then maybe I think then I have off Friday or something. And Saturday maybe I'll play something new just to mix it up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'm kind of liking this Cassandra. I'm, I'm liking her a lot. Still don't know about Garrus, but I'm liking her a lot. I'm liking her very much. But yeah, that's the plan. Thanks to everybody for tuning out. Uh, Shu for that amazing host. Uh, Ford, as always. Professor, as always. Larry, as always. And also Philip. And everybody else who joined. Didn't feel like chatting, but that is fine. That's totally fine. I love lurkers, too. Never staying, always walking. Yeah. Well, if this is the end, I will go. Go find another stream. For I am a nomad. <laughs> Never staying. No problem, Professor. Been great, AZ. Thank you again. Have a good day. Yes, thank you. You guys have a good night and day as well. I hope to see you tomorrow. Maybe not you, Larry. You need to get on a sleep schedule for work. Maybe for a little bit, but then you should go to sleep, okay? Alright, I hope to see you in the next stream. Bye!